is a video to explain how to use Pixlr to resize your images. You can do this on the web. It is a relatively easy thing to do and you'll be able to get pictures which are the right format and the right size to load onto your website. If you go to pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R.com and choose the Pixlr editor. Normally you'll be uploading an image from your computer to work on. This photo, Kia in Flight, is 1019 pixels wide by 768 high. We want to make this much, much smaller and change the, the ratio, the, the aspect. We'd like a square photo and so we're going to open this in Pixlr. We're going to choose the select tool here. If I just select it, I can make the selection any ratio I like. So I can pull out a wee bit of that photograph. I've lost the tip of his wing, so I need to redo that so that I've got exactly what I want. So I could then crop that, but I in this particular case I want to restrict it to a square so up here it's got a thing called constraint and there's no restriction if we go down to aspect ratio I would like it to be 300 by 300 that's what I'm going to want to end it up or I could say one to one so next time when I do my selection, I can only select a square. You just have to be careful where you start that square from so that you can get all his wings in. Under image, you can go crop. So now I have it with the right aspect, it's a square photo now where it was a landscape before. Over here under file I can go save. It asks me a few th questions over here. The most important thing is to change the name. If you don't change the name it may overwrite your original. So I always rename them once I've edited them. Remember to use hyphens to separate your words and try and use keywords in the, in the name. Now the JPEG is good for the web. The next thing you need to do look at is the size. We've cut it down to 68 kilobytes. That's still just a wee bit too much. You want it between sort of 45 and 55. So we can Grab the quality slider and just slide that down a little bit until we get 56 would be fine. So then you go click OK. It will ask you where you want to save it. I always save my um, edited images to a different folder. So I take them out of my original folder and I put them into WebReady folders. And I've already done one of these so I'm going to call it number one and just click save and that will save that to the folder on your desk. Once you've finished you can just close that window. Do you want to save those changes? No we don't because we'd be saving the original. So then you're ready to start again and save another one.